We're going to take a quick look today at setting some of the general preferences that you might need uh, while you're using your Flex MLS system. So let's click on the menu button on the upper left hand side. Scroll down to your screen and you should see a preferences section here. This is where we change that default map, but there's lots of other options for us here. We can again review our profile. We can change some of the views that you see. So you have the option to edit or modify for your own views. You can change save sorts, other reports that are available, even the quick search templates that might be out there. But today I wanna to deal primarily with this general preferences. When we click on that, it gives us again some more options. One of the options here and the first thing that you're going to see is the opportunity to change the default font size within Flex. So if you happen to be one of those people that need a little bit of reading glass and so forth and that nine point font is just a little too small, you have the option here of changing it and going up a little bit larger when you save the, the fields. You also have the option of setting your reports of public or private. Again, you have the option as you print or send those reports to change this as well. This is just setting the default for that so that when you do it and if you forget to do it, you'll always send this particular version. So your choice. Again, a default listing report that you get to see and what type of business card that you've created out of that profile information that we chose earlier. The uh, data sources that you're using here, Mish, Rick, MI Real Source, and or Real Comp should be the three chosen as they are your primary three that we're going to be working with in our area. The other things that we want to talk about a little bit about are the quick search options for showing the MLS first. Again, what's in the MLS. Setting some email preferences again of how our email is set up. HTML is usually a default, and then the kinds of attachments when we send things out. If these are available for an individual listing or property, they will be attached to the email as well as a default in that process. Your dashboards that we've already talked about, we've already set a default, that's the one that's always gonna come up, but you don't need that to happen. You could jump right into a quick search if you wanted to do so. It also gives you an opportunity to show the times for expirations and how long to keep your sold listings on your dashboard. The other one that I really wanna jump over to is the comparables. When we jump into doing a CMA, one of the most important things is, is to kind of set a default again or a standard of where we're gonna start. We might start with that pin uh, to find a particular property. And then from there, we would choose a search radius within that. And you have the choice of defining this. So we might change this to one and a half miles from that pin. We can also set something as a price point above or below. We can set it for bedrooms and bathrooms if we so choose. I expect to do one below and at least one above. Um, if you don't set these for minimum, uh, they will stay and be exactly compared to that property. In other words, if you have a four bedroom, two and a half bath that you're looking at and you wanted to pick comparables, it will only pick four bedroom, two and a half baths. If I make these choices, this would pick a three bedroom and a one and a half bath property as the minimums and then go up from there. All right. The other thing to think about is your square footage. Overall, an adjustment of approximately 5% above or below the amount of square footage. Again, the statuses that I'm so choosing in that process, my actives, my pendings, my solds, um, even my withdrawals and expireds are here. So perfect way to set those minimums and have some things set up for your default to make life a little bit easier and reduce the number of clicks. Good luck.